What's up, fam? So the other day I was watching a video from a guy by the name of Dr. Myron Golden, who happens to be the author of a book titled From the Trash Man to the Cash Man, How Anyone Can Get Rich Starting from Anywhere. And he made a very bold claim. Um, basically, he stated an opinion concerning people who would be considered broke. Um, and I agree a lot with it, but I do know that my way of thought in a lot of cases is very unconventional. So that really just kind of motivated me to go ahead and make this video. And I feel like, you know, if you are, you know, broke or if you consider yourself paycheck to paycheck, obviously just in the rat race, right? Not where you want to be, not where you feel like you need to be and you know you need to get to that next level. Then here are five things that I strongly believe that you probably should kind of stop doing like immediately. <laughs> um, so look, drop in the comment. Let me know what you agree and disagree with. And if there's anything that you plan on applying, definitely let us know. And concerning that uh, comment that was made by Dr. Myron Gold, then I'm going to go ahead and save that for point five, simply because it just kind of ties into the point that I have for you. Let's dive in. All right, fam, the first thing that you should stop doing is viewing your evenings and your weekends as chill time. OK, and what do I mean by that? Well, you know, for one, it's easy for us to be kind of like caught up in this whole nine to five um, in this ideology of our job is our primary source we associate our nine to five with work therefore when nine to five ends work ends right but that's not the case if like you don't want to be average um you know at the end of the day like you know we can really you know influence a lot of what goes on into our career development or business development simply just by allotting time after the nine to five to prepare to add to build our own value right like if you plan on starting a business then start learning about llc's and escorts and taxations and how to get started like when you're off work you know whatever craft that you have that you that you're going into to like get to that next level whether it's you know music producing starting a youtube channel whatever it may be learn about those things get into some type of course right study videos order books off of amazon and begin to build that value and really work when you get off of work like that is perfectly okay right i would you know i would dare to say that entrepreneurs um they're always working right you know i i am in tech sales i'm a consultant and i speak with business owners every single day of the week and a common theme that i hear and that i understand from talking to them is that like they're always consumed with work and and sometimes it's not even necessarily like a negative thought process of them it's just it's their baby it's what they do and your baby can start now right so make sure that you're not viewing your evenings and your weekends just as chill time but as an opportunity to build value within yourself and get yourself to the next level the next thing that you should consider to stop doing immediately is picking up your phone when you are bored easy to do right lord knows i have that habit ah all right we're on this journey together though y'all so what I'm really saying is it's natural for our mind and our attention to drift, right? You know, so I give you a prime example. You know, at the start of the fiscal year for my company this year, 2023, in August, you know, I was basically the top performer in revenue for account executives in my division, you know, from Q1 of the fiscal year, August, September, October, and then November, my ranking like fell. And then I started getting back on track in December. But one of the things that I got comfortable doing is keeping my phone nearby me when I'm at work. Like, you know, 
getting bored and then checking emails and going on LinkedIn when not that that's a bad thing, but the, the boredom caused my attention and my focus to drift from what I needed to be focused on. Right. And ultimately, you know, in my role, when my numbers fail, then that puts me in a position to where I do not make as much money as I could make. And it doesn't put me in the best position moving forward. So whatever that is for you, just be mindful of when you're bored, redirect your attention, right? Do like the grueling, difficult thing. Pick up a book when you're bored, right? Watch some type of educational video when you're bored. Do something that that feeds your mind and moves the needle to get you closer to that level that you need to be at when you're bored as a habit, as opposed to doing things that are not adding value to your life, right? So like another example, let's say you are waiting on, you know, the great message from a recruiter or someone because you've been applying the job. So you keep on going on LinkedIn, checking for those messages. Hey, that's all good. That's not necessarily moving the needle towards something else. Maybe instead of going on LinkedIn, checking for that, you know, you can start working on your craft more of whatever job you're trying to obtain. So if it's sales, for example, you can start studying sales. And so, you know, by the time your attention has been broken throughout the day, maybe for a total of 30 minutes to an hour, because you've been checking and going and going in here looking for people to, who messaged you, you could have taken that 30 minutes to that hour every single day to basically build on the craft to put you in a better position to perform at a higher standard, which ultimately will put more money in your pocket. Pocket. The third thing that you should consider to stop doing immediately is winging your schedule. OK, what do I mean by that? Stop allowing circumstances and people to kind of dictate your schedule. And what I mean is have your schedule full like you control that. Choose when your schedule will be interrupted. Right. You know, when 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 my weekends are here, like that's not just like a free for all for me to say yes to anything that is asked of me. Right. Like when the weekends come, I'm working on like the YouTube channel that we have. Right. I'm working on the brand. I'm working on other things outside of my nine to five and I'm applying my attention on a schedule i'm not just so much winging it still plan on getting way way better at it that's why hence we're on this journey together but you cannot just allow circumstances to just dictate and interrupt you and then you'll find yourself with a schedule that is full of things that may not necessarily be adding value to you, which will ultimately put you in a position to where you can provide more for yourself and or provide more for your family. So stop winging your schedule. The fourth thing that you should consider to stop doing is just doing what feels good. And what I mean by that is like, stop just reacting to urges, even if they're like very set, um, subtle, very subconscious, like, you know, for example, hey, I feel like eating steak this tonight. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go to Longhorn and buy me a steak. Well, hey, maybe you can afford the steak, you know, but at the end of the day, like, what is that costing you? Like, what will you not be able to do? What will you not be able to save for? How much food do you have at home? Could you have planned better to eat that steak, right? You know, if you need transportation, hey, I'm just going to go buy the latest model car as opposed to buying a pre-owned car. Now, I'm not telling you which one you should do that that's really irrelevant what i'm saying is when you when you have these desires and and these urges of satisfying what feels good just take moments and just question yourself i know that i want to do this but is this the best thing that i should do and as long as you properly count the cost you can come to whatever conclusion that you need to but at least you will be able to cut back on certain moments and give yourself opportunity to redirect funds that you would have spent on something that felt good to spend the money on but instead maybe you redirect that to some type of investment opportunity or savings to move the needle to get ahead to whatever it is that you need to build on and the last thing that i have for you is stop consuming entertainment content only okay now that is 
my you know fifth thing that I have for you and that is partly connected to when I heard Dr. Myron Golden speaking you know in this video that I saw him in he was basically saying like if you're broke and you're sitting up watching football games and basketball games and rooting for a team you're basically rooting for a team that is not really contributing like to you taking care of your family and you're missing out on taking care of the main team that you need to which is your family basically what he's saying is instead of consuming television or entertainment which is putting money in somebody else's pocket you know take that time instead and then give your attention to something that's going to move the needle to put more money in your pocket and i do agree for the most part with that obviously you have to have some type of downtime i have that too but in large i am a person who typically spends my own personal time moving the needle towards something so you know watching educational videos reading books doing something productive that i feel like is basically an investment within myself which will build my value which in return would allow for me to contribute to more finances for my family so again let me know your thoughts on this video anything that you disagree with drop it in the comments listen if you're looking for some type of career move career change you're looking to maybe work remote um, and still make good income or possibly increase your income check out some of the links that's in the description we do partner with different companies that would allow for you to receive some type of preparation and then help you segue into a different career field which could afford you more time at home as well as potentially more money in your pocket until the next video